I would like to say that I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be a member of this man, a friend of this family. I've been around this family since I was, since I was born. She taught me so many things, man. She had so many things. Me and I had a lot of shit Right now, standing that bitch on the side. And I'm just, I'm just proud to be part of this child. And I hope that we don't never let this thing go. I hope that we can give it all to a young kid. One year we had 24 Indians strong. Boy, you talk about it. And we all came back home safe. Yeah. 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 The sinners and he brought us back. Thank you for that. Thank you, Miss Family. You brought up this family. God bless you, Miss Joyce. Yeah, yeah Miss Joyce. You're Joyce. You're Joyce. Backbone. Yeah. You are definitely a bad boy. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm Big Chief Delco, Chief of the Creole Osceolas. If it wasn't for that man right there, I don't know where I would be as an Indian today. I got my education from him. I come from a small village in New Orleans, Boscoville, and people back there always wanted Indians. I started my gang after being in this gang here. That is a man of highly respect, highly respect. Every Indian in the city respect him and his family. And that ain't nothing that's not supposed to be. We are the Mighty Gras Indians. We represent every part of this city. We've been representing every part of this city since the middle 1800s. So we all give our respect to this family. We mostly give our respect to Tootie Montana. That's where I come from. As I say, I respect him. I wouldn't be with what I am today if he wouldn't have told me some of the things that need to be done on this street in masking. We are not warriors. We mask as masquerade. And we do it better than anybody on this street because we do everything ourselves. We don't send to the shop for nobody to make nothing for us. We do it all ourselves. So to this family from the Creole Osceolas, appreciate the whole family. Thank you.
Nobody loved carnival, nobody loved Indians as much as him. It was a religion. And uh, he, he inspired me every every day. And uh, I, I'm so glad to know to know his family and to know all of his tribe and to know all of y'all keeping his keeping his legacy alive. It ain't easy. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at a, a tape just the other day of him in Congo Square. It was, must have been from, it was before that, it was about 95 or 96, and he was up there doing his little dance, you know, <laughs> and then they had another little kid come in right behind him and start doing yeah. the same kind of moves. So that's why he's keeping this, going, this yeah. thing going. Yeah. And uh, I love it, and I'm happy to be here. It's about passing it on. Yeah. yeah. So I also, also like to say that a lot of Indians can't draw. So I draw for a minute, <laughs> and everyone I draw for, they request. They say, I want you to draw me a tootie monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I want that to be like cheap. You know how you had this and that? You got that cheap with me. He set that standard of excellence. Yes. Yeah, a tootie yeah. too. Nobody, nobody couldn't uh, uh, <laughs> just do that. Do that like me. And they got one more better suit in his mind. Oh, yeah. Another one coming yeah. up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Always had one more better suit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyone else? Everything I like to say, okay. I'd like to say Daryl, first mama daughter. That kept me going. Thank you. Because his father passed it to him, and he passed it to you. I grew up at Paul and Marie when they dropped them crowns down off the pool. Thank you for taking on your father and your grandfather's legacy. I'm proud of you. You're welcome.